When switching to OEM info, the screen displays blurred screen, incorrect scale, or blurry font. You need to enter the factory settings, enter password 190627 to find the car display option and adjust the resolution based on the NTG system version and screen size. This car is an NTG 5.0 system. After selecting item 8, the OEM display is normal. Please refer to the pictures for other systems. If the display is still abnormal, it is necessary to select the correct CAM protocol based on the NTG system version. If it is W221 or NTG4.0, it is also necessary to check whether the wiring of the LVDS adapter box is correct. One of the reasons is that the orange fiber optic cable was not connected to the Android ISO harness. Please refer to the installation video. If it is NTG4.0 or NTG4.5, you need to enter the factory settings to select manual aux and then return to the OEM system to select aux. If it is NTG5.0, select AUX USB in the OEM system. If NTG4.5 is not available, if the OEM does not have the AUX menu, it is necessary to activate AUX and then set the AUX position. If it is an W2 to 1 NTG3.0, it is necessary to upgrade the MCU to version 220510 before activating AUX. When the reverse camera is not displayed, it is because the correct reverse camera type was not selected. Find Camera Selection in System in Settings and select Aftermarket Camera for the camera in the aftermarket. Stopping music playback when reversing is because reverse mute is selected in the settings. Cancel the reverse mute option in the system settings. The air conditioning interface on Android displays abnormally. It is necessary to select the correct option in the CAM protocol based on the NTG version and open the air conditioner in the vehicle. If the electronic control panel keys on the screen of the W221 is abnormal, it is necessary to select the correct option in the CAM protocol according to the NTG version, and select the correct option in the control panel of the vehicle.
After installing the front view camera, you need to go to the factory settings and find FAM and check it to turn it on. Returning to the APP menu, you can find that a new front camera APP has been added. Open it to use the front view camera. After reversing, the screen displays no signal because there is no front view camera installed and FAM is turned on. Please carefully check if the White Can Protocol adapter plug on the Android ISO harness is wired correctly. Please refer to the wiring diagram. Find, remember the last mode in the function section of the factory settings to set it. We have made a separate video to explain in detail how to create a boot logo. Please refer to another video. Every time start the Android device, it automatically enters Slink. You need to go to the factory settings to cancel the Slink option, and you also need to turn off the automatic connection option in the Slink settings. Need to turn off Sync Assistant in the factory settings. If you see an error in the time display, it is because you have chosen Android time, and the time will be incorrect when the network is poor. Suggest setting to car time. We have a 3.5mm audio out connector, which can be transferred to your subwoofer amplifier, but it is not a dedicated subwoofer output. When the car lights are turned on, the display screen dims because width lamp control is turned on in the settings. Simply enter the settings and turn off this option. Unable to read the SIM card because the SIM card was not inserted while turned off, or the SIM card type is not compatible with the Yihang device. The solution is to restart the Android device after inserting the SIM card, and it is recommended to use an AT&T, T-Mobile, or Verizon operator's SIM card.